So in my spare time, I like to study engineering and I'm going to dumb something down a little bit, but you have to understand this concept in analogy to sports. Now, when you're flying, we know that the wing has to create lift. So the plane, well, lifts off the ground and stays airborne. And the angle of the wing is called angle of attack. And as you can see in this video, when the angle of attack is good, everything streams over the wing in a very good way. And the pressure is such that you create lift. There's flow when things are going as they're supposed to go. You have a good angle of attack. But if the wing gets an angle of attack, you see how it's getting steeper in the video. You can see that the parallel lines start to disappear and you start to have turbulent flow back here. And if the angle of attack gets too steep, the plane will stall and potentially fall out of the sky if the pilot can't recover. You can see the chaos that occurs behind the wing when the angle of attack is too steep. You can see that that angle of attack is too intense. Now, in athletics or any sort of performance, your angle of attack can't be too intense either. Let's call it your energy of attack. You want to ride the rhythm of the game perfectly. So you keep that flow, the perfect flow of the game. A lot of players get in a stall position by having too much energy of attack. Okay, so if that's the equivalent of not being in rhythm with the game. And what happens, you have detachment from flow. So you have a detachment from the flow state if you're too energetic. Conversely, if you're going too slow, you also can't create enough lift. So we always talk about in the program moving at a certain rhythm to be in rhythm with the game. If you watch great players game in and game out, their energy of attack is pretty similar with minor variations. The minor variation may be their team's in a little bit of a lull, so they come out with a little bit more energy of attack, but they're still not overdoing it. They're not coming out like Russell Westbrook does sometimes, and I love him, don't get me wrong, where there's too much in energy of attack and he ends up, quote unquote, stalling out. He loses the flow state. Sometimes you'll see guys that are too cool. They don't show enough emotion. I saw that in Lonzo Ball a lot. Just coming out a little too lackadaisical, emotionally not in it. His energy of attack was too low and that also leads to stalling conditions. So what you want is the perfect rhythm of the game, and we show you that in the full programs. You also want to go through life like this. When life's going good, you're kind of like in that perfect position where you start to generate lift in your life. It feels like you're floating, right? It's when you're creating enough velocity and your energy of attack and your angle of attack towards life is perfect that you float. You don't overdo it. You don't underdo it. You're right in that groove, right in that pocket. I heard Jay-Z talking about rhyming sometimes and he says he just gets in the pocket right and he's just in in the groove of of the song of the rhythm of the beat and he he rides the beat so when you're you know you've heard a great freestyle rapper and you can kind of visualize when they're rapping when they're with the beat it looks like this correct it looks like the plane that is perfectly aerodynamic and generating lift and not creating turbulence so just to recap when you're in that flow state, when your energy of attack is, uh, was, is right, when it's not too slow, it's not too fast, it's just right, you get this beautiful streamlined game. We call it the flow state. But if you start to change your angle of attack, maybe it happens in game, you're in the zone and the referee makes you mad and suddenly your energy of attack changes and you're in a stall. You're falling out of the sky, you've lost the zone. You've lost flow state and you've entered into turbulent flow, which is the stuff in the back where it's all chaotic. What you have to do, just like a pilot who finds himself in a stall state, is you have to recover the flow. You have to mentally readjust your energy of attack, get back so you're back in the flow state. Okay? And maybe a, you have a few games where you just can't find that right energy of attack and can't get in that flow state. To regain that, you have to practice and you have to visualize. You have to see yourself in the game and make, you know, you have to practice like you play. And the reason you practice like you play is so you can maintain that aerodynamic, quote unquote, aerodynamics to your game. This is the flow state. This is how athletes who are great, they're more like the wing that is in the perfect orientation that it needs to be to have perfect flow.
and they avoid losing that perfect flow and entering into turbulent flow. I just think this visual of the air going over the wing, the perfect angle of attack is a great visual to have when you enter a game, any performance, and how you go through life. When you wake up in the morning, feel like that wing at the perfect angle of attack where everything's flowing perfectly. It might be a good symbol to have for when you go to play. Peace. Growing up, I was always interested in the mental game. After years of study, I developed the Basketball Brain program. My life is devoted to helping others achieve their greatness. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and if you take a chance with the Basketball Brain program, I promise you your game's going to reach levels that you never thought possible.